volunteers. I'm sharing courses of a delicious meal with my husband, Brad. Wild, delectable morsels bursting with flavors so precise, they're almost scientific. We're in a kitchen, or is it a lab? A kitchen? A lab? Kitchen? Lab? Where are we? How did we get here? What is this place? In my endless quest to learn about all things tech, I've come to the jewel of the Northwest. <laughs> I'm George Takei, and this is Takei's Take Seattle. I skipped all kinds of grades. I started college when I was 14. Then I was a postdoc with Stephen Hawking, working on the wave function of the universe and the fundamental origins of space and time. And I was just an amazing nerd. Meet Nathan Mirvold, scientist, inventor, chef, and a fixture here in Seattle. I started a software company with some friends from graduate school. We sold the company to Microsoft and I became its first chief technology officer. I was there working for Gates for uh, 14 years. So I decided to retire, so I started a company called Intellectual Ventures. This is the Intellectual Ventures Laboratory, where we do a variety of experiments in support of our invention work. Over there, a new type of nuclear power reactor that we invented. Many parts of the world, they don't have a reliable power grid. So how do you keep the vaccine cold? Well, this device is basically a really, really good thermos bottle. So we do tons of different diverse science work all over here, but in this specific area, we build a kitchen. So this is um, Vinciton charcoal. Part of the rock. Almost sounds like you're hitting a piece of ceramic. You're gonna have to trust me on this one. <laughs> this is brioche that we've toasted. You're gonna take your knife, and then you're gonna cut through the Vinciton and you're gonna spread it on. Oh, this is like butter. Yeah. Uh, that was like, like stones. We made a mold out of the bencho tongue and we filled the mold with the chicken liver mousse. It's kind of like French toast, but yet right. much more sophisticated right, than that. Right, right. It's delicious. From an early age, I was interested in food. I would periodically pick up some new set of books on some new kind of cuisine and I would study it intently. After I retired from Microsoft, I sort of naively thought, okay, now I'll go find a really big set of books on the most modern cooking techniques. And I'll learn the science of it, and I'll learn those techniques, and that'll be great. I couldn't find the damn book. Well, if I can't buy the big book, maybe I need to write the big book. And that's what Mirvold and did. He wrote and produced perhaps the most elaborate cookbook ever made. Six volumes, 2,438 pages. More than just a scientist's pet project, it became the most profitable cookbook of all time. Mirvold has sold $30 million of these books. They feature another one of his passions, photography. The team concocted ways of dissecting pots, pans, and ingredients so the reader can actually see food as it is being cooked. Take very finely scrambled eggs, bake them at 179 degrees Fahrenheit with steam. This mushroom preparation on top is shiitake mushrooms and they're eggs, but these are cooked in a water bath uh, with some butter. This is a very foamy, uh, very creamy preparation that goes on top of the mushrooms, almost like whipped cream. And the final layer is another part of the, the steamed egg preparation. The dark component is mushrooms mixed with eggs. So basically we spread the mushroom preparation on a flat sheet and then we comb it off. Oh. Okay? And then we pour the scrambled eggs on top of that and it's also baked in a steam bath. Cooking is the only science experiment that most people do on a regular basis. I love that food is a cultural expression of who we are. I love that food can be an art. But food is also science. And so I love the aspect that if I understand it, I can control it, I can master it at least a little bit. Delicious. This is truly the intersection of mm. art and science. Just as a visual artist offers a new way of seeing our world, modernist cuisine offers a new way of understanding and tasting food. Like what you see? Subscribe. Chihuly Garden and Glass. I like people to come in here and feel good. This gigantic sculpture over their head.